Hi everybody, welcome back. It's that time of year and we are in full canny mode in our kitchen today. I have some applesauce that I'm making as well as we are trying something new. I'm going to be canning up diced tomatoes. I've actually never done this before, so stay tuned and see if I actually get it right. <laughs> in the meantime, if you are curious on how we do applesauce, there will be a video down in the description that we have linked on what we do exactly step by step that we posted last year for you. We ran out of our applesauce probably like a couple months ago and we did a bushel and a half last year. So this year I got two and I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Right now I'm coring my apples. When you're making applesauce you have to core them because if you leave the seeds in there your applesauce will turn bitter. So like right here, I'll have to cut these out. And then I just take the center and I'll give that to my chickens. We get our apples from the Amish, which is one of the better places we've been able to find it. Unfortunately, our apple trees just can't keep up with the amount that we need. It's kind of crazy to look at. If you look at the apples from our Macintosh tree, they're small, they got lots of pits from insects, but then you see the size difference in the ones you get from the Amish. Big, no spots, they look good. Um, obviously because they spray them, um, we've looked all over our area trying to find the best apples that we can because we don't like the insecticide or the herbicides that a lot of places use. The best place we've been able to find is the Amish. Obviously, again, they do use a little bit of it, um, but they try as little as possible. But to kind of combat some of those issues, we make sure we thoroughly wash these apples in a little bit of vinegar water. Well, it's filling up your sink, dumping in the apples, pouring in a, just a splash of vinegar and just soaking them in that for a little while. This year I've actually made a couple quarts of applesauce with our Macintosh apples this year, which was a lot of fun. It just took a lot of extra work, unfortunately. They're a lot smaller and with all of the pits and the insects inside of them, I had to spend a lot of time just making sure that all those parts were cleaned out of it. Once Rach is done cutting up the apples, I'll take them over here. I put a little bit of water inside these pans, I heat them up. So that way these apples start to get softened. So that way they're easier to run through our mill. We've always used Macintosh apples since I was a kid. So that's the only type we ever use around here. You can use obviously any type of apple that you like depending on your taste. If you like something sweeter, we, again, we use Macintosh because they're sweeter. Um, if you like something that's a little more tart, you can find different apples just for the type of taste that you like. Well, we have an issue. My apple core just broke. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Guess that means I better start cutting the old fashioned way. <sighs> we ran this through our food mill and then we placed it into our jars and placed it in our canner. Well, it's my pressure canner, but we put a sheet pan on it so it works for water bath canning. I just had these finish up and I'm going to pull them out and put them on the counter with the other ones I've done already. Not gonna lie, I hate this part. <laughs> I'm always worried something's gonna explode on me. Well, we just finished with our applesauce, so now it's time to can our whole tomatoes. We've actually never done this before, so I'm really excited to get it going and try it out, and I hope it works. I really hope it works. Right here, I have a bunch of tomatoes from my garden. These right here were um, ones that we had ripened already and I didn't want them to go bad, so I threw them in the freezer and I just have them thawed now for everything. What I'm going to do, instead of blanching my tomatoes to get the skin off, I'm going to broil them. So all I need to do is cut off the tops and make sure there's no bad parts and then I'll place them on and I will broil them for about five minutes until they're nice and hot and the skin should come right off once everything's done. Okay, so I'm gonna place these. Oh my goodness, gonna have to do the foot method. <laughs> In my oven on the broiler for about five minutes. Now that I got these out, I'm gonna let them cool down for a minute and hopefully the skin should slide right off. Woo! Huh, would you look at that? How fun. So these are my frozen ones. 
Oh, they're still kind of cold on the inside a little bit. That's why they look so weird. Oh my goodness. It's so neat, the skin's just like peeling right off. So we pulled the frozen ones out first because they're shriveling up so quickly. These are the rest that I had to put them back in for a couple more minutes. And as you can see, they are looking so much better than before. Well, we've had to put these in a couple more times, hence the black tops. I think they're finally ready enough. <laughs> oh, honestly, I mean, I know the blanching process and pulling off the skin is a lot more work, but this is taking forever. That one might actually be the easier task. Hot. Now that I've put them in for quite a bit more time, they're coming off a lot easier, thankfully. Oh. Now that my tomatoes are ready, I'm going to prepare my jars. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of lemon juice, and then I'm going to pack my tomatoes in without making a big mess somehow. Oh man. I fill these to an inch headspace, and right now all I'm doing is wiping down the rim so that everything will seal properly. Well, our whole tomatoes became stew tomatoes, but that's still good, I love stew tomatoes. I will actually put those in the water bath canner and I will have them boiling for 45 minutes. Then I'll let them sit for five minutes and I'll take them out. I'm really excited to try them and have my own stewed tomatoes for once. Thanks for hanging out with us today as I got a bunch of canning done with Josh. It's a big day, <laughs> but it's so fulfilling when it's finally finished. If you found this video enjoyable or you learned something from it, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until then, we'll see you all next week.